The Lyric SUV deliveries have been going out slowly as General Motors worked really hard to solve every issues with the Lyric and make sure everyone who bought the 2023 and 2024 models were satisfied with the best quality. Most importantly, no complaints. The new Cadillac Lyric price is more affordable than other expensive electric SUV in a class like the BMW iX. The quality, on the other hand, is top-notch. Back then, it was difficult to find an affordable luxury electric SUV. Right now, the tough exploration have been made easier by automakers releasing new electric vehicles. Back-to-back -back that surge an increase in competition among automaker in the EV market leaving enough room for buyers to select from different varieties of their choice. Today, these buyers want to share their experiences, both good and bad, including their final thoughts about the Cadillac Lyric delivery update, experience with dealers, test drive, and so on. Let's hear from our first guest, Foam Crusher, who placed an order for the Lyric SUV. I saw a live Lyric today at my dealer. This was a 2023D, one of only six of their allocations of 2023 debut edition production. All future deliveries will be 2024s converted from 2023 orders. When I asked another salesperson his guess when I might get my dual motor white tray coat, he said November or December because they were told that Cadillac would first produce only single motor 2024 models until those orders were satisfied and only then move on to dual motor models. They will start with the basic colors and would produce dual motor models with extra cost paint colors last. I have no idea if any of that is the way it will roll out, but that is what his district area rep is telling the dealership. The car I saw was available for purchase only after the person who made the original deposit backed out because he was not willing to wait without information from Cadillac about when he would get his car and had purchased another manufacturer's EV. The salesman called me last night and said I could look at the Lyric today, so I went to the dealership first thing this morning. He was too busy to talk to me because he was already working a deal for that car. This was with a $10,000 market adjustment. I initially panicked after being told by my dealer that all their 2021 and 2022 orders were going to be at manufacturer sales retail price without dealer packs. He then told me that General Motors had cracked down requiring dealers to only sell ordered cars at MSRP under threat of a reduction in their future allocations. However, cars that were slotted for an individual who later backed out could be treated as a used car for purposes of their no markup rule. Big sigh of relief. Anyway, the Lyric is as impressive in person as the photos and video show. It fit me very well, the quality of the dash screen is like a top-notch cell phone, and the fit and finish is excellent it will be well worth the wait. However, this is the only Cadillac I will ever purchase. Cadillac and GM have shown me by the way they have botched the rollout of this vehicle and have kept those who have ordered cars in the dark and been dishonest with their dealers that they do not value their customers. Unfortunately, I am reading that other buyers feel the same way. To start with, the first set of people who pre-order the 2023 Lyric's rear-wheel drive models will receive a 2024 Lyric instead of 2023 model. All wheel drive model will row out afterwards. Slow delivery is first main challenge that's holding back the Lyric currently. The second buyer, Donnie Park's experience with a dealer on the Lyric purchase is far from what you expected. Dealers is the second challenge General Motors and Cadillac have been trying to handle as their markup on electric vehicles is above their MSRPs and reservation amount. I ordered two Cadillac Lyrics. Because of Cadillac's and GM's lack of communication with its customers and lack of production, I have ordered one Model Y. With Tesla's great price reduction, it made good sense. While I would prefer two Lyrics, GM and Cadillac's failures in communication, production and delivery, I opted to replace one with the Model Y. I did so with a good knowledge of Tesla having owned three and my two adult kids each owning one. I also have a Fisker Ocean on order. I hope the Lyric will be coming in the next few weeks, months or I may be driving a Fisker Ocean. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has made this move and have these concerns. Wake up Cadillac and GM. You've been in the business a long time. Surely you can do better by your customers. Many Lyric enthusiasts have already been jammed by the $3,000 price increase on launch with no forewarning and when my select dealer called to confirm my order had been received, they informed me that they were adding an additional $10,000 to the sticker price. 
the price of the car just went up $16,000 in a matter of minutes. Bad business for sure. This was after months of communication with them. Needless to say, I found an honest dealership who said the owner said he would not do such a thing to customers. He said people will remember this and he's right. It's no longer a new thing when dealers add thousands of dollars on the MSRP. Remember to carry more extra cash with you anytime you want to get a new vehicle, because this challenge is yet to be solved. SS and MSN, who ordered the Lyric from their official website, gave a better example. I want to remind you of one thing that dealers who are supplied with cars will additionally charge money for the sale of this car now, for example, Cadillac Escalade, which are sold at dealers for $15,000 more than the manufacturer recommends selling. Dealers do what they want. Until GM puts things in order with dealers, Tesla will be charged more and the price there is more transparent and no one is shaking their nerves and making an important appearance as managers of GM dealerships. Therefore, I think feel free to add another $10,000 to the price recommended by the factory, which the dealer will put in his pocket and will make an important appearance pulling money out of your family. By the way, when I ordered Lyric on the official website, it was said in the contract that the final price depends on the dealer's interest. Well, we expect General Motors to solve this issue with dealers any time from now as many customers have been complaining about the expected markup. What does it really feel like to drive a Lyric? Alejandro Ruvalcaba, the fourth person test drive the Lyric, and shared how it feels on the road. Got the chance to test drive the Lyric recently in Glendale, and man, I was impressed. One pedal drive is flawless, and the infotainment system is perfect. If the Chevy Blazer EV is on this same platform, that car is going to wipe the competition away. There's also some cons. The Lyric feels really heavy, and for the outside shape and size the interior is definitely on the small side. Rear leg room is poor at best. Take into consideration I sat behind how I drove the car and I'm pretty tall. Would it be spacious enough for our family of four? Point of correction. The Lyric interior have enough space to fit more than two passengers at the back seats. The rear legroom for very tall individuals might feel uncomfortable at first, but as time goes by they won't notice. James and some other individuals seems not to be a fan of glass rooftop. He also figured out a solution for those who prefer solid roof for the Cadillac Lyric. One complaint, and one thing I'd instantly change if I got it. The complaint would be no solid roof option. I would instantly tint that with 0% tint, solid black, because glass roofs are stupid and need to go away, complaint on every EV and not just this, and I would replace the wheels and tires with something of like three times the sidewall, because the first puff hole you hit you're cracking a rim, other than that this is probably the best electric vehicle yet. Right now if you're considering purchasing the 2024 Cadillac Lyric, it's important to weigh the impressive quality and luxurious features against the potential challenges of slow delivery and lack of communication. While early adopters have been satisfied with their Lyric experience, the vehicle's success in the competitive electric vehicle market remains uncertain. Whether or not it will thrive depends on the improvements made in production speed and customer communication. So, if you're in the market for an electric vehicle, the Lyric may be worth considering for its distinct design and affordable price, as it's important to keep these factors in mind before making a final decision. What do you think about the Cadillac Lyric as your first electric car? Share with us in the comments section. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more related videos and electric vehicle news. Thanks for watching. Till next time.